When broiling hamburgers, you're gonna want to raise your rack from where it's positioned to the very top. Typically, I line my pan with aluminum foil to have an easy cleanup when it comes to the mess. Um, so then you're going to want to put your hamburgers on the pan. After preheating your oven for approximately five minutes, you're going to want to put the burgers in the oven on the top rack, the rack that you just moved. Close the oven, but don't close it all the way. And broil your hamburgers for six minutes on the first side. During the six minutes that you're waiting for your burgers to get done, you're going to want to cut your buns if they haven't already been. being careful not to cut your fingers or your hand. And then I decided to toast my buns. So I'm going to butter my buns. Yeah, it looks like a lot of butter, but I am going to hopefully to hopefully butter all four of them with this amount of butter. It doesn't look like it's gonna go for all four. That's okay though. So then I will wait until after the hamburgers are done to toast the buns. After six minutes you're gonna want to take your hamburgers out. Being really careful. Ooh, don't those look beautiful. Flip them. Stick them back into the oven for an additional six minutes. Why do you leave the door open as you're broiling the burgers? Because otherwise the burgers will get too done and you'll end up with a whole lot of smoke. After the second six minutes, you're going to want to take out your burgers and add your cheese if you'd like. Also what you might want to do as you're um, cooking your burgers is turn on your fan above your stove. Uh, that'll also help take care of any smoke if there is. So then I normally turn off the oven and stick it back in for uh, a few minutes, like two minutes. At this particular point, you can shut the door. So I buttered my buns, so I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet and actually turn back on the broiler too low. Move around your pan with the burgers. Stick your pan with the buns under the broiler and just keep an eye on them. Once they get golden brown, then you're gonna wanna take them out. You're gonna wanna take them out of the oven every once in a while just to look at them so they don't get too burnt. So then after your buns are done, you're going to want to take out your hamburgers, put your buns on, you don't have my food in there, do you? Put your buns on your plate, put your burgers on the buns. Also, the reason for letting your burgers sit is it lets the juices distribute. You 
you can add ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, tomatoes, or anything that you choose. Also, don't forget to turn off your oven.